How's it going, everybody? This is Mickey Plays, and today I'm going to be reacting to DW Breaks Her Neck by Matt Neff on his FUDW series. Make sure you check out his channel. The The link is the original link is going to be on the description below. And with that being said, let's begin. Arthur is watching the Olympics, and DW couldn't give a rat's ass. She'd rather watch My Little Pony until she discovers the Olympics give out gold medals. DW begs her mom to let her sign up for gymnastics, specifically so she can win awards and get famous. Mrs. Reed reminds DW she's quit every other activity she's joined after only a few days. A waste of time and money that could have been better spent on counseling and ADHD medication. <laughs> Desperate for any excuse to get her daughter out of the house and off her ass, Mrs. Reed begrudgingly agrees to take DW to gymnastics lessons. <laughs> D.W. discovers she's in the same class as Emily and the Tibble Twats. We see <laughs> Emily in the company of her replacement nanny, who was probably hired after her previous nanny disappeared under mysterious circumstances. <clears throat> Mrs. Reed describes Emily as smart, pretty, and polite. Three traits D.W. lacks in spades. Yeah, D.W. tries to get on the balance beam so she can one-up Emily in front of the class. Her instructor tells her she won't be allowed to use the balance beam for at least a year, and has the kids pair up to do somersaults instead. Be my partner? <laughs> I guess so. The fuck was that? <laughs> DW attempts to do a somersault and falls flat. Oh, that was funny. I, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. <laughs> Hold on. I have got to go back for that one. That. That was hilarious. That was funny. The fuck was that about? <laughs> DW attempts to do a somersault and falls flat on her ass. Emily shows her how to do it correctly, only to be mocked and insulted by Why is this kid blue? Good Let's question. move on to handstands, as Emily proves she's way too advanced for a beginner's class. <laughs> DW's jealousy causes her to fall over, knocking over several of her classmates in the process. She then tries to do a cartwheel and manages to fall all the way off the mat. The next day, DW is practicing her moves in the most reckless way possible. She goes to the grocery store and ends up destroying the place with her shitty cartwheels. The next week in class, the kids are back to doing cartwheels when, hold on, are blue rabbits actually a thing in nature? Huh. I'll be... Well, it's kind of a gray bunny, but you know what? Why am I arguing with nature? There's a lot of mutations out there. D.W. manages to finally do a cartwheel, only to get shown up by Emily. The instructor scolds Emily for showing off before leaving the kids alone for several plot-convenient minutes. <laughs> Emily apologizes to D.W. because that's what a good friend does. D.W. Yeah, but she should have still have shown off in the first place like a dick. She rebuffs her apology and decides to do a cartwheel on the balance beam. The Tibbles goad her on as she nearly falls to her death. <laughs> For some unexplicable reason, Emily tries to keep DW from killing herself and rushes to get Mrs. Reed and the instructor from outside. What exactly were they doing together outside before Emily got them? I mean, it, I mean, it's the '90s, and look at the way she's dressed. Look at how they're both dressed. I've seen enough of the L word to know. I've seen just about enough episodes to know what the hell is going on. Never know. The Tibbles are giving Emily shit for being a snitch, which D.W. tells them to fuck off. D.W. <laughs> apologizes for being a jealous brat, and Emily offers to help her improve her cartwheels. Unfortunately, D.W. loses all interest in gymnastics when she sees a horse on the ride home, and begs her mom to let her take horse riding lessons. Thus, the snake has consumed its own tail. Let's review. D.W. begs her mom to let her take gymnastics, despite her history of quitting every activity she's tried. She instantly got jealous of her friend and took every opportunity to try and put her down. She well, to be fair, I think in the violin, I think with the whole violin thing, she's like, I could have been good if they would have let me use the stick. So basically saying, like, they didn't give her the stick, they didn't give her the bow needed to play the violin. They just let everyone else use the bow. They didn't give her one. But I'm not defending DW at all. I'm just saying, she's like, I would have been good if they let me use the stick. To do the most basic moves and destroyed an entire grocery store with her janky-ass cartwheels. When Emily bested her again, DW tried to do the most dangerous thing she could think of, risking her own life. And even after she made up with Emily, she decided to ditch gymnastics after only a week to pursue riding lessons. Once again, at the expense of her mother's time and money. F-U-D-W. I know, right? 
This episode is brought to you by Friends of Fiction. Friends of Fiction is a student-developed and produced sitcom for intermediate and advanced television production at Missouri State University. The series follows a failing detective as he tries to avoid financial ruin by renting out rooms in his house to a cast of colorful individuals. You can... I mean, practically anything that anyone can do with a camera and a green screen that takes little to no effort to do. I've written screenplays and movie scripts that could have been a blockbuster hit. And I bet you that I still would get zero recognition. Zero recognition. And I took advanced writing classes. I got, I got, like, even in freshman year of high school, I got a, between an 11 and 12, which is the two highest grades for FCAT writing in, Flor in Florida testing. So as a ninth grader, with the advanced writings of a junior and a senior, and I could write, and, I, and I've written short stories. And I've gotten no recognition for any one of those things. I write mystery books. Okay, I write supernatural mystery books. And you know how much recognition I get about that? Zero. Nada. Zip. But, I guess because since I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, I guess that's why I still haven't gotten any recognition for any of those books. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as I enjoyed making it. This was funny. I liked it. I loved it. I hope to see more of what Matt Naff can do with the FUDW series. I know he's got a whole, like, I think he's got, like, two seasons of it. And I wish him, like, to continue more and more and more of them. So make sure you check out uh, Matt Neff's channel along with his side project or whatever it is he's doing. Uh, make sure you also check out my, most, uh, my, my, my Twitch, uh, my friend's Twitch. And many, many more projects I have up and coming. I'm trying to get as... I'm trying to get this YouTube channel thing going because I'm I'm usually on Twitch almost all the time. Um, I'm usually on Twitch uh, mostly Wednesdays. Uh, sometimes on a Thursday I'm on there. Um, but I, I, I'm trying to get. I was trying to get my Twitch more. Uh, how do you say? More aware. I mean, I only have like three followers. I had four, but I lost one. I don't know how that happened. But I've been. I've I've been working on both video. I've been working on both channels. Um, the link to the video that I just reacted to is going to be on the description. I'm going to send a link to. I'm going to put a link on the bottom for a website called Etsy.com for a friend of mine who sells jewelry. Uh, this is this is one example of what she sells and what she makes. She makes these by hand, uh, made with real stone. She's got an Instagram, which, of course, I'll put on the description, because it's going to take me a while to edit everything to put the link on the screen and the, and the Instagram mat on the bottom of everything. You can see it in the last video I did. Uh, you would see that there if you if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but uh, apart from that, you know, I'm also on Twitch. Uh, make sure you check me out on twitch.tv slash place 91 uh, Check out my friend... Uh, twitch.tv slash astrogirl89 and leave a comment, leave a like I always read my comments and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next reaction video so tune in next time for another reaction video and also check out Matt Neff's uh, channel I'll see you guys in the next video